Welcome to Blue Sky Performance. I'm Jesse. I'm Jeff. And this is our used, but new to us, 12,000 square foot facility. We wanted to show you around. Today's our open house, but those who couldn't make it, we wanted to give a, a tour of the shop. So come on in. Got a roadster shop spec chassis for a Firebird, Joe's Firebird. Some of, some of you may know his car. We've been working on it for years and finally given it the, uh, the suspension treatment it needs. Spec chassis fully bolted in, no modifications to the car necessary. Nice, nice piece. <clears throat> Walk in here. We have a showroom slash staging area slash clean room. Cars that get painted once they're kind of somewhat assembled, they come up here to get out of the shop built. So uh, we have storage for about nine, 10 cars in here. And uh, various stages, 66 Le Mans, or I'm sorry, Tempest. It's gonna be finished up uh, in the next couple weeks here, going back to the customer for final assembly, mechanical assembly. It'll be back. Chuck's 39 Ford on a TCI chassis, Gen 2 Coyote, 6R80 automatic transmission. This one's a little unassuming. You wouldn't think that a Coyote is shoved down in there. This was a survivor type build. Um, like Jeff said, Coyote, six speed. It's actually made to tow his 39 Ford tractors. <clears throat> 93 Supra. This in. is a little different for us. Yeah, yeah. The 80s and 90s cars are coming in, 93 Supra. Um, it's been painted a couple of times before. We're gonna rip it down to metal, do it right. Um, customer, customer wants to never do this again. So we're gonna take it all down. Um, he's got loads of OEM Toyota parts. So we're real excited about this. Yeah. If you know us, you know we love Fox bodies. So we always have a plethora of Fox bodies around. Um, we've been doing small mechanical bits to this thing. a Couple underhood cosmetic things. 80 Firebird. Um, it's been in in the mix for quite a few years now, and uh, we pulled the trigger on a spec chassis. Another Roadster Shop spec chassis coming in um, in a few months. Going to be a real nice down and dirty spec chassis LS 4L80 um, 525 GM crate motor that's over in the crate. It's going to be kind of dressed up to look like a Pontiac to just keep it true to its roots. 70 Suburban, it's been in the works for quite a while. 70 El Camino out in the corner there. That's uh, keeping it a little quiet for now, just to keep things, uh, and then, keep the project fresh. And then our shop Camaro that it'll be back on the road someday. But as you know, when you own a shop, you don't get to work on your own stuff too much, but you know. That's what happens. Needed a fuel <laughs> pump two years ago, there it sits. <laughs> now keep but coming come on down, down here. So this is the meat and potatoes down here. We got metal shop over here. We do a lot of sheet metal work on this side. Our brand new AccuDraft paint booth. Don't duck guys, they can see you. <laughs> um, AccuDraft Space Saver booth. Uh, it's, I've dreamed of owning a AccuDraft booth and finally we're able to pull the trigger. It's in grigio gray, kind of matches the shop motif in here. Our goal was to make this place look really nice, you know, make it look just as nice as the cars that we put out. So, um, there's still some things to be done. Oh yeah. <laughs> we, we moved in in January. Keep in mind. <laughs> <laughs> 93 Cobra. Um, another, I guess you could call it a modern classic getting ripped to, uh, down to metal. It's a true 93 Cobra. Um, it's not a converted car. So, um, we're going to do all the sheet metal work, take it down to metal, give it the paint job that it really deserves. Um, 50 Mercury, it's been in her family for 40 plus years. Her father built it in the late seventies, early eighties, and we're modernizing it, um, with a gen three coyote, another roadster shop chassis build. 10 or 80 uh, trains. Yeah. 10 speed automatic. So, uh, we're not painting the car. It's another survivor type build. We actually have two survivor type builds being put together at the same time. Um, She's got a boogie. It's cool. And it'll just be a turnkey package. Yep. You don't Get have to worry it. about it. It'll Get start it, up, it. go. You could drive it to Florida. You could do whatever <clears> it is. 70 Chevelle, also on a Roadster Shop spec chassis. Um, 
It's getting a blueprint 376 LS3 uh, with the 4L80. Um, uh, this we, one's for going 4L60. 4L60. Built 4L60. All those 4Ls. I get confused. A lot of 4Ls. Um, we just completed the floor. Uh, you can't see him, but manning the camera is Chad, our head metal technician. Metal technician by day, cameraman by night. Full floor replacement. It was all butchered up. Um, customer was, wanted to do it once. This was an old, an old drag car from English Town. So it had cage work, back half type work on it. So it was, it, the, it was pretty chopped up the car. Fiberglass doors. We also did the trunk floor. The trunk floor was also pretty mangled up. So we replaced the trunk floor with a one piece trunk floor. And then Chad modified the upper under package tray area um, with about an extra one and a half inches of clearance so that um, we can get the tailpipes nice and high. Because as you know, Roadster Shop's all about stance and we want this thing sitting nice and low, but also to be drivable at that height. So getting those tailpipes nice and high means that Tom will be able to get in this thing, race it over railroad tracks and it won't, won't, uh, <laughs> won't miss a beat. Let's try to keep all four wheels on the ground. Yep. <laughs> um, we got a 69 Mustang, it's a long-term project. We've been doing some pretty cool sheet metal work, some one-off inner aprons, um, TCI uh, front to rear suspension, mini tubbed. Uh, this car should be getting uh, a fastback conversion. It is a coupe, so we're gonna pour a lot of coolness into it by making it a fastback. 65 Le Mans, kind of an OEM plus restoration. It's, it's not really a performance build. Um, we did replace all the suspension with Hotchkiss uh, front and rear suspension. Basically a safety upgrades. Um, same thing, we put six piston Willwood brakes on it. Um, we are a hot rod shop. We can do Concours restorations. We may not like to. Um, Doesn't get the creative juices flowing. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Tony. Tony's Firebird. That's a Concours <laughs> restoration over there. But um, basically, this guy hasn't driven the car since 89. He's owned it since 68. The new, the, the lowest, you know, your, your little compact car could probably outhandle, outbreak this car in stock form. So we like to inject some modern um, technology into the cars just for the sake of safety. So comfort as well, vintage air. <clears throat> uh, it's got a nice wizard cooling radiator package in it, um, a CVF. Uh, serpentine conversion on it so you know kind of look look factory more factory from the outside but at least have some modern stuff where he's going to want to enjoy driving the car not not getting too sweaty inside of it it's the original 326 um, we put a roller cam in it again to modernize it get rid of the possibility of wiping out cams because we all know that the oil today does not like flat tap of cams so we put a roller cam in it um, single plane intake with a carburetor, simple, just barely modernized, made 312 horsepower at the crank. Our engine builder actually dynoed it on his own dime. He's a Pontiac guy and he just wanted to know what it made. So it made 312 horsepower at the crank. Through a power glide. Through, yes, through a two speed. We'll be so. running through a power glide. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Rebecca's 70 Chevelle. Um, might be getting picked up today. We just recently did a uh, Holly port fuel injection on it. Jeff, you can take over. That's yep. his. This was that's this, his side. This had a, a, a Holly sniper, which is a throttle body injection system. Um, they're great, but they are finicky. They're still going to give us some problems, like a carburetor. Uh, so now this is all port injected, sequentially port injected on a Holly HP. Um, we've updated the the fuel system with in tank pump um, with all baffling. Uh, and while we were doing that, we also converted from uh, the original four-speed trans to a, a TKX uh, five-speed transmission. Um, and then to top it off, we, uh, we had to have the functional cowl hood. So um, Jesse got in the booth, uh, did some blend work, and we got a, a functional cowl on there, which is partially controlled uh by the fuel injection system to open and close the door so integrating all that stuff into the computer it's it's kind of fun putting some technology in these cars yeah. 
<clears throat> and a 68 uh, Camaro up there. Um, been a long-term project for the owner. We're kind of getting it running and driving. It's, he's had it for, he's had it been worked on for like 20 years. So we're kind of getting it to the point where he can actually get in it, enjoy it for a bit, maybe do a couple burnouts and, uh, you know, and then go from there. <laughs> <clears throat> Down on the bottom here, we got Phil Kozak's Nova. Um, this thing last year, uh, we were on the dyno with it. And uh, after the first pull, I knew something was wrong. Um, it had a, a weak engine in it. Uh, so we pulled the engine, gave it to Phil. He had his builder uh, put together a new big block for it. Um, 632? Six th I'm pretty sure it's 632 cubic inch. Um, this thing made 1,238 horsepower at the crank on uh, C16 fuel. Um, so engine goes in there, uh, previously only made about 500 or less horsepower. So there's a lot of systems now that we're going through to update to, to ha the, the, have the car handle the engine. You know, it's, it's a package deal here. So cooling system, brakes, uh, we're doing some suspension stuff to it, some wiring, um, so that Phil can get in this thing and it's not going to put the power to the ground, but uh, it'll keep him rolling at least. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tony 68 Firebird. Uh, this is one of very few Concours style restorations we do. Um, we're not really equipped to do Concours style restorations. It's not something we'll say we're experts at. Um, however, Tony, the, the, the right car and customer combination allows it to happen under this roof. Um, Tony knows everything about the Firebirds and all that jazz. So we're, we're putting his dream Concours Firebird together. It is an original Meridian turquoise car with a white final top, white deluxe interior, no power steering, no power brakes, hood tack. It's a 400 HO four speed. So it's a really unique car. Um, we're going to be trying to get it to be wrapped up for Columbus good guys next year for muscle car of the year. So we'll see. It's going to be a cool car. And then, um, oh, and this is the mechanical side of the shop, right? This is where all the performance work, the suspension work, the fuel systems, electric, all that fun stuff gets done on this side of the shop. We have a in-house dyno chassis dyno it's a dynacom dc 6000 um so this room here we kind of dedicated to mainly just the dyno um this way we can close the garage door we have exhaust fan uh, we can keep the smell out of the shop the sound's hard to keep out but it definitely tones it down it a little bit <laughs> for, for everybody working um keeps me safer in there i got a good fresh fresh air coming through there um but Yep. That's that's a room I love spending time in. Then we got Jeff Johnson's 89 Mustang. Um, top to bottom, front to back restoration. Uh, he's a one owner car. So he bought the car in 89, drove it until, was it 2006? Sat from 06 to 19 and then we conceptualized the car. Kind of did, we wanted to do an OEM plus, very, you know, it, it, it appears and comes off very OEM, but it's not at all. It's completely custom. You can eat off the bottom of this car. Again, it's a Fox body, so it brings us back to our youth. Mm -hmm. This is powered uh, by a 351 based. Uh, now it's stroked to a 408, so a little bit unique there. Not, I mean, it's a common swap, it but you don't hood. see it all the time. And then like Jesse said, it's all it's all finished to OEM finishes, just higher quality. Um, but the colors of the engine. Uh, we didn't you, want anything shiny. We didn't want anything glitzy, glammy. We just wanted everything kind of, you know, toned down, you know, just color correct. You know, from the factory, the hoses would have been black. However, yes, they're black, but now we have AN fittings. It just kind of OEM pluses the car up. You know, we, we did a, this is an aluminum intake. Um, normally there would have been a flex tube from the factory on the plat, the rubber tube. So we put a little bit of bead rolling in just to inject that little bit of custom stuff in 
and, and make it unique. This is a good guy's top 10 builder's choice winner from Columbus. Yep, thanks we to are, the Roadster shop. We are very proud and our customer, was ex Jeff Johnson, was excited for that. And then the one that got us on the map, this started the monster. In, yep, 2019, we took this to SEMA. Uh, we got to do some really cool stuff, meet some cool people, film with the Blue Man Group. Uh, Blue Man Group was in the car. Jesse was doing burnouts for him. Uh, so that, that was really fun. Should I say like Lincoln bio? Is that what the YouTubers say? Lincoln, Lincoln. bio. <laughs> we'll try to throw it in there. It's a cool video. Very cool. Very um, cool experiences. Um, Rick, the owner, he, this was the first car that he kind of, um, you know, kind of just let us do our thing. This car has been in his family. This was his uncle's car. Did, did he buy it new? His uncle bought it new. Okay. Yep. And then uh, Rick restored it once. Um, and then in 2016, 2017, I think 2017, he got in touch with us to, to just do the paint on it. And that snowballed into what we now call the Le Monster. I sent him a link to the Roadster <laughs> Shop Fast Track chassis and he's like, yeah, let's do it. So this was our first Roadster Shop build. Um, Roadster Shop, th that company, I mean, we can't say enough about them. The product they put out is incredible. It, um, you know, as soon as you put a Roadster Shop build underneath your car or a chassis underneath your build, it immediately levels up the, the, the project. Um, so th this car drives like, there's no other Le Mans convertible, a body convertible that will drive like a fast, fast track chassis. Um, oh so they also awarded us with a builder's choice award on this car. Um, so this was kind of, this is very dear to our hearts because this is the one that kind of started it for us all. A um, lot of custom one, one, one off touches. Ooh, the grills going. are made by conceptualized by myself and Sean Dove with Evote Industries. Um, they're one piece, big chunks of 6061 aluminum all machined out. And then they have the running lights and they also double as switchback turn it. signals. So it kind of, uh, you know, injects a little bit of modernized technology into it. Pretty unmistakable when you see this thing coming down the road at dusk. <laughs> Pretty awesome. We just switched this car over. Uh, it had a fast throttle body EFI system. It's running a Holley Terminator X Max now. Um, so we're port port fuel injected, and then uh, we're also we switched. It had a 204R in it, um, just mechanical overdrive. It's now got a 4L80 in it. Um, so everything is controlled by Holly now and um, it's, a, it's just a lot nicer to drive, um, especially in lower speeds, um, just having the computer control the shift points on the trans. This was also the first car that we collaborated with Bucks Customs out of Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Uh, Chris and his team um, 
knocked it out of part out of the park uh, for the interior. Not one piece other than the, the dash bottom. Not one piece in the interior is a production piece. It's all handmade by him. Handmade the door panels. Handmade the console. Um, and and we, we, Chris is is he's he's got quite the quite the level of skill. So he always knocks that out of the park. These a build like this wouldn't make sense with a stock interior. You need yeah. to have a high quality interior and a, tr a trim guy who understands the the look that we're going for, the theme of the car. Uh, we give Chris very little input and he comes We give up. him a color and an empty, what I say is an empty bathtub. He, he <laughs> I comes say, up with some leather. wild designs. Relicate leather. Um, can't quite remember the name of the color, but it's awesome. Um, <laughs> more one-off pieces from Evoed Industries. The gauge cluster insert is Evoed Industries. The shifter is Evoed Industries, the plate at least. Um, all the, all the, badge, the badging on the dash. Yep, the Le Monster badging on the dash. Then around back. And then, yeah, coming around back, we got uh, custom one-off taillight lenses and bezels, as well as the one-piece um, rear treatment. This is all one giant piece of aluminum and he machines it out to perfection. And then we bring it back and do our finishing touches with paint. And it's amazing because it's a part made from nothing that the, the machinist never sees the car. It ships from California, we can bolt it on a car. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's that pretty much wraps up the mechanical side. Up above us, we have just under 2,000 square foot of storage for customer's parts. Um, every project that comes into the door gets labeled with a job number. Last digit in the job number denotes where it goes. So anybody ending in the number three goes to section three. So we're able to keep track of all these projects. You know, we may not touch the parts for six to nine months, um, but anybody can go up and say, oh, like for instance, this is job 2014. Okay, all of Phil's parts are up in section four. So moving into this location allowed us to have the square footage above the shop, not in the shop, so that we can quickly and efficiently go get parts, bring them down, People don't have to ask Jeff or I, where are parts for Phil's car? They're in section four. And it's so it's a you know, we got parts are expensive. We're these are all customer owned parts, so we're also protecting the customer's investment, not only their cars, but their parts when they go into storage too. Yep. <clears throat> so well, just, we can go through the back door here. Just get into the body. Uh, room. we'll go we'll go around here. Okay. We got the Kind of a sheet metal fabrication area, saws, band saws, bendy tools, cutty tools. Constantly adding to our tooling. Yes. We love, we love our tools and we love when we can buy a tool for a job that makes yep. it not only better but more cost efficient for the customer. And then Brad's Impala. Um, Brad came in, gave us a $60,000 budget and we said, uh, can't do it for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brad's been a great customer. We have two vehicles. Um, this vehicle, which we completed last year, last February this went to or March. SEMA. This went to SEMA last year. Um, also a Roadster Shop uh, Builder's Choice Award winner. I mean, we can go on and on about this car. Evode Box Customs, Roadster Shop Spec Chassis, Forge Line, Blueprint. Blueprint. I mean, the full gamut got on this thing. Uh, this is a one-off grill. This is normally this section of the grill is part of the hood. It's now been lopped off. Custom, custom uh, aluminum little Lord, spoiler little type balance. deals they actually house an oil cooler and a transmission cooler. They pull fresh air from underneath. Supercharger heat exchanger is back there. Again, this car is called uh, Project Low Touring, so it's a low rider and a pro touring car kind of just smashed together. If they had a baby, I guess you could it, say. It gets this it. Car. This car on a cool <coughs> it's six, 670 wheel horsepower consistently. <coughs> we cool it down and do a 
uh, a glory run. We'll get over 700 wheel with it through a 4L80. Um, this car gets after it. I was on the dash. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Jeep Bikini Pearl paint. Um, conceptualized by uh, Brian Stupski. He helped us uh, meld the mines on the, on, on the higher end builds, on the full builds we like to get rendering. So we have a, a number of different uh, artists that we can consult with um, basically to get the car in a conceptualized form and see it on paper before we even touch the car. Uh, it helps the customer see what they're gonna get it gets the juices flowing um, and then it gets everybody in the shop also okay this is what the car is going to look like this is this is the the target so we did have this car um, conceptualized from the beginning gives us something to work towards yep another knockout box customs interior relicate leather um, with with carpeted inserts again we wanted to mix the oem kind of factory vibe, but also pro touring vibe. Um, it, I hate touching the interior because every time I do, I dirty it, but the, the cream with the with the, the teal. It's a great color combo. Roadster, sh <laughs> Roadster Not Shop. Not friendly though. The Roadster <laughs> Shop on the Oil & Whiskey podcast uh, gave us a shout out on, on their On The Gas segment. And uh, I think I think it was Jeremy said, you know, you know on, on paper, you think like turquoise with the cream that sucks <laughs> but uh it came together it's 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 an amazing car tropical glitz metal flake all over the thing um it was 80 hours in the paint booth getting the graphics down and then on top of that was getting the rest of the body color down this this one definitely uh definitely Put me, put me through the ringer. I've ever seen. <laughs> I walked into the paint booth and paint process on this and I turned around and walked out because I got a headache <laughs> trying to figure out what the heck they were doing and what tape they were going to pull first. But seeing it finished, it's uh, it was pretty wild. Yep. <clears throat> and then uh, John 68 Firebird 400, another Concours Restoration Firebird. Very OEM looking. It is an original red on red car with a white top. Um, this will be a all original concours type deal. We got two very knowledgeable Firebird guys. So yeah. between both of them, uh, they're really coaching us on the, yeah. the correct finishes for everything, um, yep. routing and stuff stuff of that nature, just because like we said, this, this is not what we specialize in. Um, but I always say I'm an expert in nothing. So that's, that's my yeah. motto. And we can head in the booth. The paint on this car is Less than, it's like 15 hours old. Looking at the clock. <laughs> this is Robert's or Bob's 57 Chevy. Um, we just recently installed a new Woody's Hot Rods brand new body. The body on this car is all 100% brand new steel. Um, the, the old body had a lot of kind of nasty previous repairs on it. And by the time we rip it all down and, and repair the metal and, and everything. It's just the cost. It's probably a net zero. However, he now has a car that is painted top to bottom corrosion protection in every area where an original 57 didn't have. So we were able to give him a product that's going to last 50 years longer than it did originally. So I just laid the paint down yesterday. It's uh, Lexus platinum, uh, uh, liquid platinum. Um, Looks and, it. Yeah, this, this is a cool color. many many late nights this week getting this car ready, but uh, it, it it came out really really nice. It's gonna have a pearl white top, factory black and silver interior, nice long quarters. I haven't even been in here since he painted. So this <laughs> yeah. is the first time I'm seeing it. You can smell it. Happens happens quite a lot to me. I'm busy on one side, Jesse's busy on the other side of the shop. Some days we don't even talk to each other. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Brad's MG. This is our next, uh, this is it's kind of, uh, I guess ironic, I don't, or not ironic, I don't know. <laughs> this is our next big one. Um, this car is about as custom as it gets. It's a, we've 
made it a complete roadster, has no side glass, no top, chopped windshield. Uh, it has a 331 stroker Ford uh, 302 based engine. Um, super custom, some outside of the box thinking on this thing. Custom three link we designed on the car, fast cars, front IFS. Um, even though it now has a V8, the weight savings on the front suspension actually does not increase with the V8, does not increase over the factory. Uh, um, cast, cast iron's heavy. It's, we got, it's we pretty now wild. Got, we got a, a, a cast iron block, aluminum heads, but now we have a T5 five-speed trans. The, the difference in weight and trans was pretty up, unreal. I can't remember the numbers, but the cast iron four-speed versus the aluminum cased five-speed, that pretty much was the weights, what balanced it out right there. And V8s are just better. Yeah. So it's going to be really cool. Um, cust bunch of custom one-off pieces from Evo to Industries. Again, Bucks Customs is also <laughs> going to be involved in this. Uh, Ogden Chrome, who does all, all of our chrome plating, um, is going to be doing all the plating. It's going to have brushed black chrome, Dayton wire wheels, 16-inch Dayton wire wheels. So it's going to be, it's going to be unassuming. Um, it's going to look from just a regular old MG, but once you get on top of it, um, you know, people say what the right way to customize a car is customize everything without being able to understand what was done. Right. So that's what we like to do. Yep. Um, and then finally, inside the shop, we have our bodywork slash cut and buff room. Um, things come in phases. Sometimes all we're doing is bodywork for a while, and then sometimes we have three cars that just got painted that need to be cut and buffed. This is Mark 66 uh, Mustang. Um, it's an X Pro Street car. We're kind of injecting Pro Touring into it. Um, 18 and 19 inch uh, forge lines. What I think GA3Rs, GA3R wheels. Um, with bronze, matte bronze at centers, brush outers. The car is going to get graphics that match the wheels. Um, this is Ford's blue ember paint. Um, it's a brand new color for 2024, uh, the Dark Horse, Dark Horse color. color. Um, we brought it fresh in paint to um, the Ford Nationals at Carlisle this year, and a bunch of the Ford uh, employees who worked for Ford came up. Is that blue ember? How'd you get that? So it's just a code. It's a base coat. It's uh, this, this lighting doesn't do this color justice because it is incredible out in the sun. It goes, it's blue. It, but it turns copper brown. It's it's really wild. And this is this is a, a two stage paint, correct? No, it's a single base coat, not even a pearl. Not Just pearl. spray it out of the gun, it's and base, it, that's how base it lays coat, out. Base coat, clear coat, yep. car. So you don't need to do. No we pearls. try to not do tri stage stuff if we don't have to. Yeah. Uh, because the colors that the OEMs have now is just insane. We fabricated the taillight panel. This is a one off taillight panel that utilizes Shelby taillights. So they actually mount from the inside. Um, there's aftermarket solutions that are a little bulky. Customer Mark didn't want that. He wanted something a little more custom. So they're now flush mounted. They look a little bit cleaner. It's kind of like the way we like to do things. And then he wanted a spoiler. So we fabricated a little duckbill spoiler that flows into the original uh, quarter extensions. It's unique. Um, he originally thought we would maybe be able to use a fiberglass off the shelf Shelby rear um, trunk lid, but that's not really our style. If we if we can if uh, we can inject some creative one-off custom fabrication, that's what we'd like to do every time. That way, we can give the customer something that they can go to a car show, go to a local cruise night, and say, "Hey, where'd you get that? I got the only one in the world." That's so. Right. <laughs> And th those those parts would have required a tremendous amount of work to fit them to the car as well. So, yep. you know. Yeah, we have skilled technicians that are able to efficiently and, and, you know, creatively put something together that's just a little bit different than what's out there. Yep. We do pull inspirations from all the builders out there. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, we like to do things the way we like to do them here. Put our own touch on it. This car also has Fessler flush glass, so it'll have no moldings, um, one piece products, shave, side glass, so it's not going to have vent windows. Shave drip rails. Shave, shave the drip rails, but we were able to keep the little body line in there. 
just to give it that little custom touch so it's not so flat and cut and chiseled. Um, the body lines are chiseled on this. A lot of work went into getting all these body lines nice and sharp. Um, this car is pre-cut and buff. We're actually gonna start cutting and buffing it on Monday, so. And that, that, I mean, that was our- Pretty much wraps it up. I mean, we got paint storage rack. So when cars are, cars and parts are in stages of disarray and disassembled, they don't, all the parts don't have to be scattered. So we have a shelf to store parts safely out of the way so they don't get bumped into and cause me to have to do repairs mm -hmm. on my dime. There's a couple of little nooks and crannies to the shop still that we, you know, there, we got a machine shop room, small, small duty stuff, but we do have a milling machine and a lathe, all of our presses, tire machines, stuff like that. So if we have to do some simple uh, machining of parts, uh, you know, that I can handle, uh, that gets done in there. It's a little hobby of mine. Yep. We now have a shipping and receiving area. <laughs> Try to be more efficient on yeah. getting stuff returned, getting stuff exchanged, cores, this or that. If we order the wrong part, get it sent back. Yeah. Um, so that's nice to have this here. The the delivery guys kind of know their way around it. Yep. So and then we got our back lot here. A lot nice, a lot of space for projects being stored outside and you know. No, long, 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 uh, long gone are the days of having to pull everything out during the day. Our old location was very, very confined, and um, moving into a place like this has really allowed us to uh, expand creatively, uh, professionally. You know, it's Work, working more efficiently. It's yeah, yeah. I've, I've, we have yet to find a downside of moving to this location. So we hope everybody liked it. Um, you know, sorry you couldn't make it. But uh, yeah, this is the new and improved Blue Sky Performance. Thanks guys.